Full system migration to SAS VIA is the movement of content and data from a SAS VIA 3, 4 or later deployment to a SAS VIA 4 deployment running on Kubernetes. Migration is a multi-step process. We go through a planning and a preparation step. We do the migration, then we do some manual steps, and finally validation. The VIA plan and backup Ansible playbook enables you to properly plan and backup your content to migrate as part of this migration process. Planning and assessment is one of the most important steps in the process of migration. The Plan and Backup Playbook supports planning by scanning the environment, publishing results to CAS and surfacing a report about the results, and also supports backup by creating and populating a migration package. In order to use the playbook to analyze and package the VIA environment, you need the most recent SAS admin executable and the following plugins. The inventory CLI plugin has to be at the version 1.8 or higher. The CAS plugin for the CLI has to be 1.12.10 or higher. And the backup plugin has to be 1.63 or higher. Okay, so let's use the plan and backup Ansible playbook. I'll go into the directory where I've installed the CLI. And then from there, I'm going to create a directory where I'm going to put the playbook when I generate it. Call it inventory-playbook in the temp directory. Then I will use the CLI, SAS admin, the inventory plugin. The command is going to be generate playbook. I'm going to pass it that output location. So dash dash output location and the temporary directory that I just created. I'll run it. I get a message that it's been run and the playbook has been created and I can go to that directory. And within it, I will see a series of files, one of which is a VARS file for the playbook, and the other one is the actual playbook. And there's also a credentials file, which the playbook will use to log on using the CLI and all the different machines in the environment as it runs. That's a look at the credentials file. And then I guess the most important file is the via plan backup vars.yaml file which contains all the settings that we need to set to run the playbook. So let's take a look at that. These are the default settings. We set things like the endpoint, uh, some locations where to put some things, and some other settings. So let's go and fill that in to see how it's going to impact the running of the playbook. The first thing that I've done is copy the playbook from the temporary directory into my Ansible playbook directory for my VIA 3.5 deployment. That has my inventory INI file, which is going to tell the playbook which machines to run uh, the processing on. Let's go to that playbook directory and we'll look at these two important files under SAS via playbook. Firstly, let's look at the inventory INI file. And that file defines my basically my VIA 3.5 architecture and where everything's located. Um, I have two VIA machines and three CAS machines and the INI file is going to tell the playbook where to run the various things that the inventory playbook needs to do. Nextly, the most important file, the, the VIA plan backup VARS file, which has the variable settings to tell us how and what to do in the playbook. The first setting, the endpoint server, tells us where our VIA environment is, the URL to log on to. Then we set a customer ID to identify the deployment we're running against, and we can give the deployment a label if we're going to scan multiple deployments. Then we pass the inventory results location. That is where all our results are going to be, the results of the scan that are going to be published to VIA in order to surface the report. Then we have a path list, which is optional. We tell it the CAS server we want to surface the reports on, the inventory report version, and then we pass it the migration package location. That's where our package will be. A backup ID to identify the backup. 
the shared vault location for the backups and then the wait for backup count. To summarize, we're saying run the playbook against this VIA environment. We passed it a customer ID and a label. We told it where to put the results, what our CAS server was, where to put the package when we do it in backup mode, and an ID to identify the package. So with all the settings set in our vars.yaml file, our next step will be to run the playbook to do the scan. To do that, in the playbook directory, we type in ansible-playbook, we pass Ansible the name of the playbook, which is via dash plan dash backup dot yaml. And then if we want to do a scan, we have to pass it a tag. And the tag that we pass it is, we say dash dash tags, and then inventory scan. Press enter, and the playbook will start. And it's going to go through and run the inventory CLI with different parameters on the different machines that have different roles in your environment. So whatever machine has the infrastructure data server, whatever machine has the CAS, is going to do different types of scans on those machines and collect the results and bring them all back to this machine for reporting purposes. This scan does take a little while, so I will pause the recording and we'll pick up again when it's completed. And at the end of the process when it's completed, we should see a recap of the playbook and a summary of all the tasks that it's performed. Let's go and look at the results. We said we wanted it stored in gel content, gel core inventory. That's what we passed to the vars.yaml. If you look at the published CSV files, we see uh, four CSV files that will support the reports and have been loaded to CAS by the Ansible playbook run. And then there's a JSON file which has the report. So I am going to drag that to the desktop. I'm going to log in to my VIA environment as an administrator. And I'm going to import that report. So I'm going to go to the content area in SAS Environment Manager, select Import, browse to my JSON file, my JSON package that was delivered by the playbook, open it, step through the import process to import it into VIA. You see it's called SAS VIA Inventory. There's no mapping required. I'll do Finish and Import and we'll see the report is imported to via in the product SAS Environment Manager dashboards folder and it's called SAS via inventory. The report is in the dashboards folder so I can find it. If I go to view the dashboards and it's called SAS via inventory. So I will open it up and we'll see the contents of the report. So here's the report. It has a variety of tabs. The first one is the status tab gives you an overview of the content that's found in the environment. Then there's the what's been used tab. We can see what type of objects have been created in terms of internal objects and customer objects. You can see the type of objects found. We have cast libs, we have reports, we have jobs, we have SAS program files. So an inventory of the content in the source environment. The CAS inventory gives us a list of the CAS libs and also the size of the different CAS libs and the tables within the CAS libs. File system inventory, I select that, does the same for things on the file system, so configs and auto execs that will be collected up by the playbook when we package it. The object inventory is another view of what different customer objects have been created, so the types of things that have been created like files and jobs and reports. Again, we can filter by customer objects or internal objects. And then the CAS backup planning is another one which gives us an idea of the volume of CAS data we have. It tells us what CAS files use NFS paths. That's something we might need to pay attention to when we're moving the data to the VIA target environment to make the same data accessible. And then deployment provision is an interesting one. It covers the size of the infrastructure data server and the SAS configuration server. 
and uh, how much space is recommended to be available for your backup. So it helps you plan for the resources you're going to need for the backup package and for the target environment. So the Plan and Backup Playbook has collected a bunch of data about our deployment. It has published it to CAS. It has provided us with a series of reports which we've just touched the surface of. You should explore them in more detail. And those reports give us an idea of what we have in our source environment and allow us to plan for our target environment as part of a migration to VIA. The playbook also delivers a set of files that, with information about the source environment and with files that we can edit in order to determine what is included in the backup. So that would be our next step. If we look at all scan results, within there there's a file that is going to be fed to the target environment which shows us the, the settings of our CAS server. So that's included in the package. And then within content selection for each machine, there's a set of files that um, have information. Here's the CAS one about the different CAS libs and whether they're recommended to be included in the backup or not. So the, the default ones are included, but we can change the setting, gather tables to either true or false to include a CAS lib in the backup. And there are similar settings for the files on the file system. So this is the, the configuration files for CAS. So with editing those files, we can determine what is included in the backup, whether a CAS Live's tables are included or whether the tables are not included. So we would set all the settings in those YAML files to determine what we want to be included in our backup to transition over to VIA. And then to run the playbook, we go into the playbook directory and we type in ansible-playbook and the name of the playbook and this time we don't use any tags and it will run in backup mode and as well as doing a scan it will create the backup package and backup our infrastructure data server our configuration server it will back up our cast server and any user defined content we've selected into the migration or backup package again we'll just pause the recording and give it a chance to complete and then once it's done again we'll get a recap of the playbook and some information about what the playbook has done the task that it's completed and we can go look at the migration package so we told it to put the package in migration package we have a gel core 2020 which is our id field our backup id and within that we have the postgres backup the console backup and our cast server backup in this case we have one cast server Within that CAS server backup is some information about our CAS server and the perm store, which is our CAS metadata. And then within customer data, we have a whole series of files about the CAS lives and the different files on the file system that will be included in the backup. The actual files are in zip files, and we have some DAT files with information about those files. So we can take a look into some of the zip files to see what we get. If I look at the formats cast live, you can see that it's packaged up the tables that were part of that cast live. So that's our formats. Uh, any other place we said gather tables, we're going to get a file with the tables included in it. Here's the, the via config. So our user mods files for, for the cast server have been packaged up into a zip file as well within the migration package. And we can even look at the contents of those user mods files. So there's the cast startup user mods.lua file so that it can be made available via the package to the target environment. In this video, we looked at using the plan and backup Ansible playbook to assess a via 3 environment and to package it for full system migration. You can find a lot more details on migration in the via administration guide.